Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Jonathan. Hello. Sakoni Jolie. You may know me for such things as <laughs> Sakoni Jolies. Today we thought we would do another Q&A because you're always asking us to answer yeah. your questions and do more videos together and I wasn't creative enough to come up with anything other than a Q&A. Okay. Family Feast Friday. <laughs> we took some questions from Instagram and Facebook. I haven't actually seen any of these questions yet. He's heard so, some of them. I've heard some of them. i heard rumours about the questions. Why is there lipstick on this now? Are you practising kissing? <laughs> no. Facebook. Ow, that's my toe. What? What did you do there for? First question comes from Amanda Zop. Hello, Amanda. What do you argue about and how do you typically resolve it? I thought that was kind of a good hmm. question. Is it good? A good, good, juicy one to start. Good yeah. job, Amanda. Yeah. Children. Really? Yeah. No. What if they're watching this video in the future and they're like, what no, is the but, cause of mom and dad? No, but that? you know what I mean. Like most people say, like in a relationship, you fight about money, mm -hmm. you fight about jobs, you fight about yeah. your time that you spend together. And as parents, because we spend all our time together, mm -hmm. we have the same careers, we have the yeah. same jobs, mm -hmm. the same money, and the same children. So everything is so com intertwined. Intertwined. Yeah. And I think that we get frustrated and stressed out with being parents because it's difficult at times. And that is probably like. Um, I will let the kids make a mess. That's my way of managing the children. I let them make a mess, and then you get upset yeah, with me. That's not the children, though. That's more like. Don't get. They're not going to be offended. They are. Well, because in this scenario, I I let the kids make their mess with okay. markers and makeup. Yeah. That doesn't bother me, but that bothers but you. That means we are your bit mess and cleanliness. Not children. Though. We don't argue. We, we bicker. We do so. Argue. No, but like bicker. Do you know what I mean? We. Like, I think we. Yeah. Every I day there's just like about, um, work stuff a lot too because it's hard because we're doing we're like in the same career mm. and it's like oh we're, and we're two separate people. Yeah, we're both very passionate about what we do. Yeah, and like we're just very different in a lot of ways. No. We're, we're very similar in a lot of ways. So like we clash sometimes. Like me saying children and you saying work yeah. and now we're about to have a big fight right now. No, but like how do you typically resolve it? Never sleep on a fight. Jonathan usually apologizes. <laughs> because Anna runs away? I'm the kind of person that will get really angry in the moment and then like once it's over, it's over. Yeah. I don't like hold on to anything. Yeah. Whereas true. Jonathan is a lot more like sensitive oh, in a way. Like he will like hold on to that and be like really affected me and I'm like over it. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? So, yeah, we're kind of just used to each other now. I think arguing is healthy. Like, it is healthy. I grew up in a house where like my parents fought sometimes, but they always made up and it was, it was always fine afterwards. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like it's a healthy Yeah, the thing. kids see us fighting, but then they see us being friends again. Yeah. When they're in a relationship, they'll know to stand up for themselves. That fighting, yeah. just because you have a fight doesn't mean the person's gonna leave. And it means that you care enough about each other mm. as well. Kelly. This is some good stuff, lads. <laughs> we're getting somewhere now. We're, we're working together towards <laughs> something. Relationship <laughs> advice. Come on, go on, Kelly. Kelly McMurtry. What goals do you have as a couple? Home ownership goals. Yeah. Okay, we both would I like... I think that's probably the main one. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're at a position like now where... Like, own a home together. Yeah, own a home together, um, like, with lots of land, like or a forever. build a home forever. Yeah, build, I mean, get, build a home together. Work towards, like, a forever home. Yeah. Somewhere where we can stay for a long time. Svenja McRory says, If you could give new parents one advice, what would it be? Having your first child it doesn't it doesn't impact your life as much as like people say like oh you're never gonna sleep again and it's really difficult yeah it's not that it's difficult it's just like you're getting used to your person it's but an adjustment. it's an it's a slight adjustment but it's not like when you have a second child i wouldn't say your life adjustment. is over after you have a no. child or anything it's better it it's better. different yeah i used to be excited about um let's say for example a new movie comes out right we'd go to the cinema and we'd see that new movie right mm -hmm. I haven't been in a cinema in like a year or something. No, we went with Zoe and Alfie for that scary thing, you know. But that was it, like during the day, you forget, like, I don't have FROMO, fear of missing out from the new movie. I'm excited to spend an evening watching Frozen for the 700 millionth <laughs> time with Anita. Eduardo. And it's with Eduardo. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think my advice would be don't listen to. Mm 
unsolicited baby yeah. advice. Especially because that can scare you. Yeah, it can. It can discourage you. Yeah. It can make you feel like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Yeah. Like this sounds awful. Like don't listen to those people because yeah. I don't even know why they do it. Like you'll figure it out you'll as you go along. Because nobody else will ever have your baby. Yeah. And every baby is so different. So what someone's gonna tell you is like, well yeah. my baby doesn't eat carrots. Your baby probably gonna love carrots. <laughs> Because exactly. they're all so different. Robin Patton Robin. said, What was your favorite show back when you were younger? You can go first. So I had to step in your toe again. Yes. Um, dun, 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 dun. Stargate started, I think, in 1993. Okay. Till 2013 or tw 2003, so 10 you're years. Like 20 then. In 1993, I was 13. I know. But when I was a kid, mm. Airwolf. Don't, don't. That's Airwolf. I think that's probably like a made up show. <laughs> somebody, made somebody up. leave comments, there's gotta be somebody out there. My favourite was Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I uh, think that was, I was my favourite. I was a bit old for that. I like look forward to that coming on more than anything else. Jade, Elaine is perf exo. <laughs> said, would you rather clean up Eduardo's poo or Amelia's sick? I am not really one to be bothered by bodily fluids. Same. I could pick up sick or poo or... <laughs> Once it came from your child, well, not yeah. It was just but even if it was someone else's, and and I had to, no. But if it was someone else's, <laughs> and and I and I had to do that, I wouldn't be like. <laughs> I would just be like. Meh. I think we would be like, okay, you you grab the vomit, I'll grab the poo. Yeah. You grab the poo, I'll grab the vomit. I'd be I'd be more worried about like when the some, child. Yeah, like when Dwyer <laughs> these is like super like every now and again. If you're parents, you know sometimes you do these ones that are like grainy, like a grainy poo. They get every it's like these little balls of grain that run up their leg and you just can't you just can't get it off your hands, it's there for life and, and you can it's just forever, it doesn't matter how many times you are. Those ones are annoying, but it's just not annoying enough that you care because you care about your kid. Yeah. Isabel G said, How would you manage this daily vlogging thing if you get divorced? We're gonna set up two channels, the Sikonis and the Jolies. <laughs> And then we'll, we'll have a raffle, who gets what child. Oh my god, that's horrible. It's horrible. I think if we had like problems mm. beforehand, we probably wouldn't have started to do... I don't know, like, mm. I just feel like I wouldn't have done it if I had any like doubts. Mm. Or I wouldn't be as happy I know some people it. would leave comments and they'd always be like, Oh, you guys don't even like each other because we're not as like... Oh. That really bothers me. I'm not comfortable with public displays of affection. Uh, like, I just don't like it. It's just not my thing. Hmm. I can't help it. It's alright. Neither am I, so I'm okay I with like that. it in private. Yeah. It's not in public. Jacqueline says, Do you think vlogging your day affects your relationship or privacy? No. I never feel that way. But mm. I think the reason is because we are the ones that decide when we're filming and when yeah, we're not. Yeah, true. So I never feel like... I don't have privacy. As, as much as like we've been blogging for five years every single day, there's so much that you there's just so much not, stuff that you it's don't not see. On tape. And that's like really nice about it because mm. we get to put out what we want. Mm. I feel like I've said that so many times, but it's so true. Like it is true. We get to decide. Like we have there's some days. There's some days when like it would seem like I do all the vlogging, right? And it would seem like there's 16 minutes that I will put out. But on that day, like I might have done like so many things mm -hmm. that are just there's parts of our life that we've never had on YouTube and we never will have on YouTube and no one yeah. ever know about it, therefore they don't technically exist. Shells Gomez, no, Shells Gomez? Shells Gomez. What is the main lesson you'll want to teach Emilia and Eduardo? My pursuit of happiness was a journey that I took when I was like 23, I think. 23 is when I started my pursuit of happiness because I had reached a point in my life when I was very stagnant and I was very unhappy with who I'd become and I thought like maybe I can be the person I always wanted to be so I started this journey and I found out on that journey that I, I, I can be the person I've always wanted to be so I would make sure that my children are confident and strong going out into this world and know that you can be wherever you want like hard work and be a good person and be honest and be true and but follow your dreams. I think mine would be treat everybody equal mm -hmm. like I feel like that's so important, like no matter how, where you end up in life or no matter who you become or who you are, to always treat everybody this with the same like respect because mm. I feel like my parents taught me that and like my dad was really successful but he always, he didn't like 
make it out that way. He always spoke to everybody the same, no matter who they were, what they did for a living. Which is true, because you're just like that, you know? Like, we have employees in doing things for us, and, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, like, some in the home, some out, out of the home, some to do our work, some, you know what I mean? But all of the people that have ever worked for us would always say that. We always treated them like equal, like yeah. totally. We're I all on the same feel level. Like like. Anybody is above anybody. Yeah. I don't think yeah. that because you have more or less money than somebody, you should be better or mm. worse than another person. Or if you have a different color skin or a different religion or a different. Yeah. Sexual orientation. I don't know. I just feel like everybody. I think that in the world, I think the way things are now with Amelia and Ryder growing up, I think the I think the yeah. world is a lot more yeah. equal. Yeah, but I just never ever want them to mm. think be superior or something. Yeah, that they are entitled to something more more than somebody else. Ashley Tally Ann said, "Do you two ever argue about how money is spent?" Not as much. We used to be kind of. Bad, worse with money. Yeah. Now we're we're a lot better at it. You know, I've grown up. I've become a grown up. I don't think <laughs> we're we managing. Yeah, we used to manage it a little poorly. But even when we did manage it poorly, um, I still think that we never really. We didn't really though. No. We never really argue about money. Our goals are very similar. Yeah. Our wants are very similar. I think we like both trust each other mm. enough to know that we wouldn't do anything really stupid you yeah, know when you go to do something you want to do let's say you've always wanted this thing and you're now in a financial position where you can have this thing and, you, and you're like well I grabbed this and you're like oh maybe I'll just grab this one instead like this is what I want but I'll take this one because if I take this one at least I can then the kids are in a better yeah. position or something do you know what I mean yeah dang underscore Gina dang <laughs> there's like three N's in there what age will you allow your cutie pies to date never <laughs> Goodbye. I was 15. Which seems really young, but okay. I was. I, no comment. I was a boy. It was no, a different time. What was your time. first proper girlfriend? 14, I think. Yeah, so like mm. same-ish. I think everyone is at like everyone has a different maturity level or something. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't think I was mature enough to be in a relationship till I met you. You know, all the other relationships didn't work out for that reason. If I bring Eduardo, Eduardo gets in the car after he's like, Oh dad, like, we shifted like a couple of birds and all. I'd be like... He's not going to have a double mask. No. <laughs> but I'd be like... He's going to be like, Daddy! Father! I know it's so stupid, but I wouldn't... I'd be like, Oh, okay, fair enough. But if immediately got in the car and was like, Dad, like... I kissed like multiple people. I, I like literally, I would be crying. <laughs> I would like be sitting in the car like... She Fine. wouldn't tell you like that. Though. She might though. She wouldn't. She wouldn't get in, and I bet you anything. She would not go in and be like, "Dad, I love." Like she would probably tell me, but not you. So weird because it's like the opposite for me. Like I feel like if Amelia came to me and was like, "I have a boyfriend," or like this boy, I'd be like excited. I'd be, I'd be like, excited for it, provided like oh, you know, provided the boy is like the mm, same age. Obviously. A gentleman. She's Everyone. like thirteen, and oh, he's twenty. Like. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I feel like I'd be excited for her yeah. to tell me about boys and stuff, but if, if Eduardo was like, oh, I've met a girl, I'd be like, what? You know, it's a hard one. <laughs> we'll come so back to it in a couple of years, because it is, I don't know if you're ever ready. Well, what age would you think? I think like 15 is a good age. Just putting it out there. Yeah, I suppose like 16, I feel more like. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. By the time our kids are grown, it's probably going to be Tinder Junior or something like that. They'd be in the class like, oh. Do you know what what I think lunch? If we are like as open with them as possible, yeah. that will help a lot because then you won't feel like in the dark. You let them have mm. a little bit, yeah. but you need that trust. Like if you're like, I will let you have this, but you need to give me this. Mm. Like you need to give me something back. Like you need like to a give GPS me ankle tracking <laughs> bracelet or something. <laughs> That's all the questions, so the next time Anna can't figure out what to do with her videos. <laughs> but you can always go to my channel. Jonathan has a channel that's not Sagoni Jolie's, <laughs> it's Jonathan Jolie, and it's just his videos, kind of like what I do on here, but nothing to do with. Mm. This is the Sacconi space, that's the Jolie space, yeah. and then we have the Sacconi Jolie So he's space. got his own channel where he's going to be doing fun videos, and I think they're really good, so I think you should check them out. You should check them out. I will link it down below. I really appreciate it. I want a gold plaque before she gets one. <laughs> that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something new, mm -hmm. and we will talk good. to you in our next one. Bye. Bye.